It's, a, it's ash dust, honest. Uh, <laughs> I know they said it wasn't anything. I wasn't smart enough to take little notes, so all I have is the big notes. So, um, we talked about property values, and we, we were concerned that TBA, TBA might be able to just come in and take our property, and we don't know at what percentage of fair market value they give us, if any, or if it's going to be the fair market value of the property before, or after there was concerns because some people had are in the process of working on their home and investing large amounts of money in their home and is that going to be something that if TBA comes in is that going to be something that's going to be considered because there's been you know individuals that are in the spill line apparently it was talked about that you know TBA wants to pay only fair you know a blue book price for something that may be worth a whole lot more so there was some general concerns that you know, are they going to be able to just come in and do that? Because I, I take it they've done that before. I'm not, I haven't been a resident of, the, of Swan Pond Circle very long. Uh, we also talked about what is the affected radius? You know, some people, the news reports it is just Lakeshore and that end of Swan Pond Circle being affected or so many homes and 40 families. Well, there's more than 40 families represented here. And people don't understand it that how many people are actually impacted, though it may not be direct damage. We are, as a community, we are all affected. And so, really, I mean, it's the whole circle plus Lakeshore plus a whole community that would be affected. Um, there's been some rumor that TBA will, before the other question, that will TBA come in and just buy everybody's property? Will they really? And that's a rumor. We don't know if, I mean, there's been the, the city council meeting. Uh, Mr. Kilgore said when there were the pet question was posed, you know, are you going to buy my property? He says, well, come talk to me. We'll talk about it. So, but you haven't heard him say that much anymore. So, you know, is it the truth or is it not the truth? Um, and then there was also rumors around that the TBA is going to buy the whole Berkshire area. Uh, where the and I don't I know where it is, but is that what it's called in the area of Berkshire Shores Berkshire 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 I'm sorry, um, and possibly not fix or repair the water uh, the way the wa to the where the water used to be the way it used to be, and, and that is a concern because it, you know if they buy up the property and they're just going to leave an ash you know just there's going to be no water. If they don't do something. There is already no water there. So, <coughs> and then we talked about public health impact. Um, there's a, you know, people. The big impact is the airborne with the respiratory issues. And there were several of us. And this, we had a small group, so there were several of us that that had somebody affected in our family with respiratory issues. You know, people with asthma or chronic lung dis disorders or anything like that. People that are already um, compromised or at higher risk, but then we also talked about you know the elderly in the community, the healthy kids in our community, the pregnant women in our community, women of childbearing years in our community. What's that going to do for them? So there were some great concerns about the the health impact. Uh, where is the Roan County Health Department? I have not heard from them, and my grandson has been a to the ER, emergency room for an environmental disaster. I'm a nurse, okay? When there was a threat of smallpox or some other kind of disaster, you bet the health department was right up there on it. Okay, and we aren't even a big threat. It was just, I mean, we're a little community. We're Round County, are they gonna come get us? But then this that actually dumps millions and millions <coughs> of debris into our community and I haven't seen a representative from the health department. Nobody's knocked on my door. Nobody's contacted me about the health issues or the health issues of my, my grandson that's in my custody. So we decided that we're all going to call the health department. You can call your local Roan County Health Department. And I wish I had the number, but there is also a state level. I have the number and I know who the director is. Okay. Of the Roan County? Laura Connor. Laura Connor. She's the director of the Roan County Health Department. And the number is 354-1220. 1220. There's also a 
the, the, the number that the, the people that are in Knoxville that have this area that run on, that oversee the health departments and that number is posted on Tennessee.gov website I know it is but I didn't think about looking it up before I came but I just want to hammer home that point that you're bringing up about local, state, federal, all the, all the people in that health food chain, the health department chain that we can contact. Everybody. In the Everybody. Chain, if you're not going home and doing it, not just once, but every freaking day until they show up here because the squeaky wheel gets greased. You need to call them up and go, where are you? What are you doing for us? Don't you know we've had a disaster? We have this and what happened. Call TV stations, whatever we got to do to shine a spotlight on this area and, and people realize how bad you, this you is. You have to advocate for not for your community and yourself and your family. Don't do, because don't if you don't, today. nobody's going to do it for us. Don't leave here today. And do it. <laughs> Even if you make one phone call to one agency, you're doing something. But don't go home and do nothing because it's not going to get us anywhere. They're going to quit reporting on it. We're going to fall back on the back page of the news somewhere and a byline that's three lines long It says TBA is cleaning it up just like they said they would. That is not what we need to do. You need to be proactive. You need to stay out there, get it out. If you have a health concern, I'll tell you this, related to the incident, make sure you take a handful of information with you because some people do not understand that fly ash is full of heavy metals. I went up to Knoxville, I talked to a few people, and out of probably four I talked to, one person said, oh, that's kind of bad stuff. Well, I had the material handling data sheet. If you don't have one, get one. If you don't have one and you need one, email me. I'll put my email address up. I'll send you a, a, a copy of it. If there's one, she showed it. She held it up. It's a six page. That might be in your packet. It is, it, is, it is in the packet. That's the one I took. Believe me. It made people notice quickly up there that they needed to do something what to look at. But you need to be armed when you go to the doctor and don't and go to the doctor.